Randa 2021. This is a different Randa than the one you remember from last year, but it's so much closer to what we actually, as the Benivista, what we really want with our Pinot. Pinot Noir for us has to be Pinot Noir. I know it sounds ridiculous, but what I'm trying to say is that Pinot Noir is a grape that's known for being elegant, being on light, yet intensely flavored, but not heavy, not huge. Um, it's also a great variety that is usually best without too high alcohol. Um, and to bring out the beauty of the fruit of Pinot Noir, you need freshness, you need, um, you cannot have it too ripe, right? Um, so, and we know that most of you really loved our 2020, um, you can just expect something different this year. Um, and we like it better ourselves at Bini Vista, so I think you uh, will as well out there, but it might take a bit of getting used to because it's definitely not the same as last year. Much closer to what we really want here. So, how did we achieve this this year? Um, well, in 2020, we ended up harvesting a little bit later than we wanted. And the last couple of days, the maturity just, just accelerated and we couldn't get it in. So we ended up with too high sugar, too high maturity and too high sugar, too high alcohol. This year, we were really careful in 2021 on the harvesting time. And we managed in getting the grapes in at a perfect level of ripeness. Hence, we are only at, what do we say, 13 point alcohol and not the 15 we were the year before. Um, and the fruit is just so much fresher. This is really typical Pinot Noir in the sense that it, it's, it reminds me always of a beautiful forest um, on a warm autumn afternoon. That sweet smell of the moss and everything. It's also dried strawberries, strawberry jam as well, but these freeze dried strawberries. It's also blueberry jam. So really sweet fruit, but not overripe, not cooked. I know jam is, but yeah. Mm. Delicious, it, it, I'm so happy about this. It also comes with some soft, uh, what you call them, sweet tobacco leaves, a bit of cedar, wood, vanilla. Beautiful. And it's so beautiful on the palate as well. We have tons of freshness here. The acidity is really nice, super well integrated juicy round but it's it's there the tannins are firm but they're not bitter they're not gripping they're really really round but they give a bit of, of backbone to the wine and yeah again the alcohol is, is just perfect here alcohol in the wine provides structure but it should never sort of over cloud and over mask the fruit uh, which for me a bit did a bit in the in the vintage in the former vintage definitely not in the 21 here food wise i am and i'm not saying that we are trying to produce burgundy because definitely we are not we're producing Mallorquin Pinot nevertheless this makes me think about a typical French food um, bistro classics a lot of them from from burgundy um, I'm thinking about uh, duck dishes I'm thinking about everything with feathers basically and a lot of fat so confit of of, of duck um, a salad with uh, with foie a, basically everything from a bird you would find on a, uh, on a typical French bistro. Steak tata would work well as well. And the glass, which the clever ones might have watched here, is actually not a Pinot glass. It's the Syrah glass from Lidl, um, simply because it just brings out the most beauty in this wine this year. Tried all of the other glasses, the Pinot glass just doesn't work. <laughs> 